Um, what we decided was that for our taught students, we wanted students to have what we call a deep learning experience, where at each level of their study, they'd have opportunities to work with industry, to expand their knowledge and experience. But we also wanted that undergraduate and postgraduate experience to be underpinned by extensive use of data-driven simulations. I want my graduates to go to a job interview and when they're put on the spot by a graduate interviewer who says to them, OK, tell me, tell me, tell me about a project that you did. I want them to be able to talk about a project they did either with an external client or where they use real world data around simulations. You can actually use the simulations in a kind of um, metacognition way in the sense that or metacritique in that you can get students to apply theoretical concepts and bring in other real world data sources from elsewhere to say, does this match up what we did expect to see in the marketplace? And um, get the students into some quite technical conversations, depending on their area, about how the simulation itself matches up to what they would expect to see in the marketplace. But the simulation is really where the students apply it, make those links between the theory and the practice, uh, and of course, gain all those important employability skills as well. And they really get into depth into the industry that the simulation is based around. So Edmundo has a simulation based around the trainers market. And I've talked to some of our students who way beyond what we require in the classroom, go away and research that marketplace and research that industry. Do we create a context and environment that makes people ready for the world of work and sets them up? And for me, simulations actually are a really good way to evidence that.